Солнце закатом пойдем танцевать. У нас вещает нас радостью снов. И завтра с рассветом найдем себя в Music camp started uh, as a small idea over two years ago. It was after the Euro Music Night Festival, and we decided to make it a little bit bigger uh, and better for musicians because we want to make some um, creative community of musicians. Your music camp is a pop music educational program um, for musicians from all over Russia and people working in the music industries. Euro Music Camp it is first uh, music network uh, camp in Russia. Uh, the core essence of the project is to create new music and explore different ways how music can be monetized. We want to provide them with knowledge about creative infrastructure and a network to build upon because we don't only want to give them knowledge about music, but also show them ways of making a living as an artist, because especially in Russia, um, there's still a lack of acceptance of being an artist as a job. Well, Music Camp is a week-long event for musicians from all over Russia, and it's being organized and supervised by different cultures from all over Europe that come together and we create new music from scratch in seven days, basically. It's quite an adventure for everybody because all these musicians haven't known each other beforehand, so they meet for the first time, they're put into bands, and um, they create new and beautiful material in, in a very short period of time. But also fun business. Good, good musician also, yeah. like, you can... They actually can work alone. <laughs> I do, have a, I do have a drummer and a bass player in my group. So we've got, this guy is a, is a rock, pop rock uh, bass player, but he's good. I think Aliona will be very happy, the act will be very happy, and I think this is going to be a very interesting end result. My name is Maxim Khrychov, I'm a producer. Uh, musician, sound designer from Russia, Nizhny Novgorod. And uh, here I am uh, just uh, learning how to make a good music in a good company. Most of my time I'm working alone as a sound designer. And so when I came to the camp, I just, I wanted uh, the same thing. I wanted uh, just to learn how to work alone better. But the camp is turning uh, fully another way. I was now at festival. Урал Мюзик Найт и просто стал следить за ним, ну, подписался на их паблик и увидел объявление, что они еще делают Урал Мюзик Кэмп. Я подумал, это просто отличная идея, потому что а, я слышал, что за рубежом, ну, точно в США, по-моему, в Европе а, есть аналоги, ну, вот, типа летнего лагеря для музыкантов. И... Когда я узнал, что есть такая же штука в России, я обрадовался, и мне очень хотелось принять участие, потому что ну, это реально крутой опыт. Euro Music Camp помог мне стать артистом, более профессиональным артистом. До этого, естественно, я занималась музыкой профессионально, закончила музыкальное училище имени Чайковского в Екатеринбурге. И просто я начала ну, понимать, что необходимо музыканту, чтобы стать my name is Dmitry Malinovsky. I'm a musician, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, you know, kind of one of my band. Before the camp, I was kind of folk uh, singer-songwriter who uh, really uh, didn't like uh, electronic music, for example. You know, and uh, this is the trouble of local uh, artists, I think. 
we're all uh, very divided in terms of music because if uh, uh, some guy plays acoustic music, he uh, really uh, don't want to get into uh, electronic stuff, you know, or, or classic musicians that don't want to get into uh, electronic or rock music, you know. Mm, Euro Music Camp taught me to look beyond the boundaries of regular ap uh, approach to songwriting and to arrangements. очень много. Я поучаствовала в проекте, в телепроекте песни на ТНТ. Я начала писать песни, выпустила свой первый EP. В запасе есть много синглов. Я сняла клип с моими друзьями. И он сейчас монтируется. Я надеюсь, что в скором времени он выйдет в свет. Oral Music Camp is not only the music camp, is the camp, it is the place when you learn to work with people, to communicate with people. One of the greatest things in the Ural Music Camp is not the knowledge, mostly it's the love from our teachers. They give us some place where we can make mistakes. The interesting thing is with a camp like this is the intensity. So you you live with the participants almost alongside them for six days, which allows you to get much deeper into to the issues or the questions that might be there. You, know, you can sit over breakfast and talk about things. I work with my group at least 10 hours a day for one week straight and they get up and they never complain. They're always happy and always eager to learn, which is really, a mo really motivates me as well. I think what moved me the most uh, was the, during the last concert, the difference between how you see them in the first day and then you work with them. On the, on like a chord like this? What kind of chord is this? It's just a kind of way to, to, to let it sing. So say there is a riff. do performance coaches with them. Everything keeps on getting better and you think, okay, ooh, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And then seeing them on stage at the final concert and they perform above all expectations. Uh, that's just great to see, that you can really see the uh, result of, of a week of work and also just their joy and their effort and their, their energy into making something, working hard 
and then at the last concert when that all comes together, that's just great. Ich mag Lakritz. I'm doing this project because of a couple of reasons. I think, first of all, being able to share the knowledge that we've learned. You know, we've studied music. I've studied music in Holland. I've studied music in Germany. I've teached music in Chicago. I've teached music in Holland. I've te teached music in Kosovo. I think um, there's a beauty in, in, in sharing that knowledge, not just because you get to help uh, others, but also because I think there are lots of similarities between the camps that I've done when I was still studying at Pop Academy and Rock Academy and the camp that we're doing right here, right now. And um, I think it's, it's a great thing for young musicians to experience being uh, in a group of musicians that they don't know for a week long and write and create music and that is supervised by people that have done it for longer. Um, I think this, this has always led to a great experience and uh, something that you take for the rest of your life and you learn a lot from. I really enjoy the discipline and the amount of energy they're willing to put in every day and they try to to um, overcome themselves and, and get better by the hour every day in the camp. That maybe stems from, from this being a real opportunity. That stems from it being something that is not common. That is not just, ah, oh, it's just another music camp happening. It's, it's, it's a special event. And that provokes, at least in my opinion, this very strong, um, working codex maybe, or this incredible energy that just fuels these seven days. So the opportunity that lies here has to do with the fact that these students, but also uh, the organization from the Russian side, uh, like uh, Natalia Smakova, they're part at this birth of reinventing this infrastructure. Um, so in continuing this camp and, and creating this network, uh, um, we're establishing uh, a part of this future music industry. We want to show that music could be profession. Alumni of Euromusic Camp uh, can open a new project and uh, this project will develop the uh, Russian music industry. If you have like 50 to 60 participants every year, uh, this makes a crowd of 300 or 400 after five years. And uh, then this is a already a critical mass and very interesting in terms of networking. The main result should be a community between Europe and Russia uh, in musical way. Uh, we can 
open uh, opportunities to make concerts in Russia for European people, to make tours, uh, to play on the festival, and also for young Russian musicians open the window to Europe uh, to make music and to play music in Europe. Uh, maybe together with European people. This is all about internationalization in the end. Uh, and uh, the, the idea is always to bring partners from different countries to each other. For instance, from Europe or from Germany to Russia and the other way around. Uh, I think uh, uh, this is something that really uh, accelerates uh, not only the relationship, but also the music we can do do together. In a practical sense, it means that on the one hand, we're teaching uh, young musicians uh, practical and essential knowledge about their instruments. Uh, we put them together in a band for one week where they collaborate, uh, they do a performance. Uh, and on the other hand, we've got music business students there that uh, uh, play a business game where they imitate the music industry, they sign these bands, and they together then learn uh, essential knowledge about how a music industry functions. Which gives uh, the music industry students the chance to practice their negotiation skills, their project management skills, um, their marketing skills. And at the same time, the musicians learn how it feels to work with a manager, how it feels to um, be in the music industry, not only making art, so we, at the same time as they are making music, they also learn how it feels to be a, um, active in this industry. Over the years we've met so many talented musicians here and they've always been looking for uh, a more structured approach that we can maybe offer them. Next to that, uh, that camp is also like a network or creates a network um, where musicians from all over Russia um, can connect, can share ideas and can form uh, new projects. It creates um, a playground for, for musicians from this country where they can interact and a person from Novosibirsk is working with a producer from Moscow who's friends with a singer from Kazan or Nizhny Novgorod. So all of a sudden this gigantic country that is so vast becomes smaller in its music network. And we feel that this is very important to, to sustain, to, to create and to sustain something that is called a creative industry that does not feed off of major label acts or off of American culture or of European culture or of something, but to create something that is true and unique to the country that it's happening in. Well, I think it's important for especially cities like Ekaterinburg, where there's a lot of potential to um, develop a cultural scene and develop, a, develop creative industries. A great cultural scene can be an incentive for high, higher qualified people to move to a city for other industries to make this grow. So this basically um, helps the economy in general grow in a city, I think, if there's a good creative economy. Change actually comes from the grassroots of a movement, I think, right? So what we're looking at, if we keep repeating these camps over and over, we're looking at the establishment of a network. We're looking at people being in Moscow from the first camp, meeting people from the third camp, setting up another side project together, right? We're looking at the perpetuation of an idea. So at some point, it's gonna be really tough to pinpoint and say like, oh, we, done, we did all this. But where those dots connect and how they grow, that is the potential of change. And uh, we're just putting, planting the seeds for that. So yes, I think the potential is huge, but I think it is also, on the other hand, uh, uh, the potential is in the perpetuation, what the people do with it from where, where we just plant the seeds.
Давай! 